Ladies and gentlemen, introducing our next 2014 California Russell Hall of Fame inductee, Mr. Rod Balch. His presenter is his son, and who happens to be a California State High School champion himself, Mr. Andrew Balch. Rod Balch was a two-time CIF champion, one-time state champion, and All-American at Clovis High School. He and like Fred Bona were on the Clovis High's first state championship wrestling team. And to note, Rod is only one of two former California wrestlers to come back to their alumni and coach a state championship team as well. After high school, Rod went on to Fresno City for one year where he was a state community college champion, junior college All-American, and was voted outstanding wrestler at the state tournament. Furthermore, he was on Bill Music's first state championship team. After Fresno City College, Rod went on to Cal State Bakersfield. While at Cal State Bakersfield, Rod received a degree in physical education and a single subject clear credential. In wrestling, Rod was a three-time CCCAA conference champion. He placed fifth and second in the NC2A Division II championships with a 96 and 24 and two record. He was also a national freestyle open champion. Furthermore, Rod was on two national championship wrestling teams coached by Joe Say. And once again, Rodney was on the first national championship wrestling team for the Roadrunners. Can you imagine that? Three different level programs, high school, junior college, and college, and to be on the first state or national championship teams for those schools or colleges. After college, Rod coached at Wasco High School from 1979 to 1980. His Tigers were eight and one. They were second in the league and second in the Sierra Sequoia division and 10th in the Valley. Then after Wasco, Rod joined Dennis DeLeo at Clovis High School as an assistant coach from 1980 until 1981, where they were Valley champs and third in state for the 1981 season. Then in 1982, Rod Balsh became the head coach for Clovis High School. From 1982 to 1995, he led his teams to eight league championships and seven CIF championships, seven division championships. He coached three state championship teams. He had 28 CIF champions and 29 state placers. In addition, his teams won every other major tournament in the California at least three times. On the national level, he was selected as one of the most successful coaches in the country. He was also voted California State Coach of the Year. His record for Clovis High School stands at 215 wins, 13 defeats, and two ties. His career record, 244 wins, 15 defeats, and three ties. After coaching at Clovis High School, Rod coached at Clark Intermediate, he then coached at Alto Sierra Intermediate for the 1998 season, and then he assisted Chris Hansen and Dustin Riley at Buchanan High School from 1998 to 2007. Rod has had many victories, titles, and accomplishments to come across his way. However, his memories he remembers most is the impact he has had on so many lives, including mine. Rod, it gives me great pleasure to introduce you tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, inducted into the 2014 California Wrestling Hall of Fame, Mr. Rod Balch. Well, it sure is a lot of uh, stuff when you got to listen to it. <laughs> Somebody talking, you got to stand there on that squeaky floor and <laughs> to move this way or that way. You're gonna, you can hear that over what, you, what Anthony was saying. I really appreciate, uh, and that's probably the biggest thing I have to say, is that uh, the winning, the, the fun, the relationship with my kids and, and everyone involved is the biggest thing, I think, is just to have an opportunity, and that's what these things are for, I think, to thank those people and those individuals that have helped me along the way. I don't really feel like I deserve uh, recognition as much as the people that help us, to help us. A lot of you might feel the same way, and uh, I'm no different. I see Bill Griffin right here in the front, and it reminds me, I mean, he had a lot to do with helping me at the Clovis High School level. And uh, you know, obviously, at the table I'm sitting with, there's several there. And I had uh, fortunate enough to uh, coach my son and see him go through and win a state title. So I've had a lot of good, uh, a good things to be thankful for, and uh, a lot of people helped me get there. And so I'd like to say thank you to my wife, Rachel, uh, my son, Andrew, and my daughter, Sandy. Uh, also, uh, my, my different uh, wrestlers that supported me after well, I didn't retire, but I went out for a while. And I started up again at Buchanan after Clovis High School, and I got an opportunity to do coach with some ex-wrestlers uh, for me that wrestled for me, 
and they started a program over there and asked me to help them out. And that was a very fun time. I got a chance to actually be an assistant with my ex-wrestler, Dustin Riley, and Jason Pierce, who were running the program then, and they gave me an opportunity to help them and, and be fortunate enough to win another state championship over there at Buchanan High School. So I really feel fortunate. Again, it's just the people around me helping me all the time. Um, my uh, mother-in-law, Lily, uh, uh, Lily Vargas and Pano Vargas are here over there, and I'd like to thank them also for coming. Um, they're probably the biggest the single one person that's helped me the most out of all of this has been Dennis Toledo. Uh, Dennis helped me when I was basically uh, almost kind of a recruit, but maybe not. He, I, I started wrestling because of my uh, uncle, Gama Contreras, who was on the team. He kind of introduced me to it, kind of started doing it a little bit. And uh, coach there was actually Davis, not Dennis Toledo. And, uh, and he didn't really say much to me or really know who I was. And then uh, that was my freshman year. And then my sophomore year, uh, that's when Dennis was the coach there. And he took over. And he really, you know, cared about wrestling. As all, all of you most already know, he really cares about the sport. He does everything he can to, to help it grow. And uh, because of that, uh, because of the person he is, he took me aside and did everything he could with me and never stopped from then on. Helped me there, helped me in college, helped me outside of wrestling, helped me any way he possibly could. And those are the type of coaches that you can do anything for, and there's nothing too big for you to do for them. And he, he basically treated me like <clears throat> I was his own son, and I can't uh, thank him enough for that. And I really appreciate all that everybody's done, but Dennis Toledo really has done, gone way above uh, any person in my life, um, and I'd just like to thank him from the bottom of my heart for that. Thank you. Once again, Mr. Rod Balch.